Hey there, my name is Matt Wolf. I'm the designer of Wombat Rescue, and we're gonna go over the rules of the game. So Wombat Rescue is a game where you are playing as a mama wombat, looks like this little guy here. And your goal is to try to rescue your baby wombats that are uh, spread across the board. The mean dingo has stormed your uh, home and chased your wombats away, and that's why they're scattered around the board. Now, the thing about wombats, uh, you may or may not know, is wombats have really, really terrible eyesight, but they have a great sense of smell. So they tend to navigate their environment by smell. Because of that, uh, wombats uh, actually poop cubes. This is true. In real life, they poop cubes. As far as I know, they're the only animal that does this. The reason why is because uh, when they uh, poop their cube, it becomes a scent marker for their environment so they can use that scent marker in order to navigate around and be able to find things and remember where they are. And if it's cube shaped then that means that it's less likely to kind of move around so it's kind of a, a known marker. Pretty neat little animals. Uh, so Wombat Rescue is a turn-based game. On your turn you have a movement phase, then you have a digestion phase, and then you may have a cleanup phase depending if certain things happen in the game. So the first part is movement. Uh, on your turn, you have up to three individual moves. Moves are always done in a straight line on the board. So if I'm here, I would move in this direction, or there, there, etc. You can move for as long as you want, or until you must stop due to uh, hitting an obstacle on the board, or leaving a smell area that's generated by your poop cubes. So for example, if I am at the home space here, if I move into this spot, I would... Uh, that, this is food. All the discs on the board are various types of food. I would have to stop there, uh, eat the food, and place it onto my uh, player board for later digestion. Uh, then I would have some more moves. I could potentially move up to here. I could move out to here. At this point, I would have to stop. Uh, my poop cube has a radius of two uh, for the smell area around it, and I'm outside of that area, which means that I must stop as soon as I leave my smell area. Later on in the game, I may have some other uh, poop cubes out further, and in that case, I can move all the way out to here in one single movement, or move to here and possibly move up that way. Uh, as you play the game, you start building up your smell area, the distance that you can move in one movement becomes much, much greater. Now, if you are outside of your smell area, like I am here, but you are adjacent to a location that has food, you have a good enough sense of smell that you can go ahead and move into that location and eat the food. Similarly, if you are adjacent to a location that has your baby wombat, uh, you can smell your baby wombat, pick up the baby, put it in your pouch on the bottom of your player board, and then your goal is going to try to get that baby home so you can rescue that baby. Now, if you are uh, on the board, there's, you're out of your smell area, there's no food immediately adjacent, and you're, none of your baby wombats are immediately adjacent. That means that you're outside your smell area and you are lost, and if you want to move, you will have to go wandering. So you will reveal a card off of the wander deck. Each card has two options. Uh, depending where, where you are on the board, you'll have one, two, or three potential places to move. In this case, I have two, kind of like I planned that. I can move to here, or I can move to here. I may want to move to here, so that way I'm closer to food if I'm trying to eat some more food. But let's say I, did, I choose to move to here. I would have to, if I want to move again, I would have to reveal a card. And in this case, perhaps I can move to here, or I might want to move back to here. This card is uh, special that it has a, f a food refill symbol on it. If you reveal one of these, you kind of set it aside. During the cleanup phase, uh, if you have three of those, then you're going to refill the food on the board. So after you've taken up to three individual moves, you're never required to use all three, then it's the digestion part of your turn. If you have food on your player board, then you get to digest it by moving it one space to the right. And after my next turn, this would uh, move one space to the right again. This uh, left my player board, and that means that I produce a new poop cube. That goes out onto the board wherever your mama wombat currently is. And by doing that, I have now expanded my smell area, and now I can actually move all the way to here, in, then down to here, and then back to there, in three moves, eating that food, rescuing my baby wombat, put that onto my home space on my player board, that wombat is now safe for the remainder of the game. 
At the end of your digestion phase, uh, if you have revealed three food cards that have the food uh, refill symbol on them, you're going to refill all the food spaces on the board by pulling uh, new food out of the bag. And if you are the player who controls the dingo at the moment, you're going to roll the dingo die, and the dingo is going to move whatever uh, number of spaces that you just rolled towards the closest mama wombat. In this case, just one spot there. If the dingo would catch you, then you get chased back to the home space. If you were carrying a baby wombat in your pouch, that wombat would go back to where you found them. But fortunately, I already rescued this one, so he's safe at home. And then, since I got caught by the dingo, I would get to control the dingo uh, on my next turn. Now, on in, in your movement phase, one thing we didn't talk about are the special cards that each player has. Each player has four cards that give you a one-time usage in the game. This card here allows you to move one space in any direction. After you have used these cards, you flip them upside down, and uh, they are done for the game. This card here allows you to uh, immediately run back to the home space, really good for getting yourself out of a sticky situation. These two cards will uh, help to control uh, when you produce a poop cube. This card here will have you immediately produce a poop cube, even if you weren't actually quite ready to produce one. This one here is the opposite. This one will uh, hold in any poop cube that you were about to produce in case you were in a location uh, where you, uh, it wouldn't be optimal to produce a poop cube. And after you have done your movement phase, your digestion phase, and then possibly your cleanup phase, then play will move on to the next player. And that is the rules overview for Wombat Rescue. The first player who returns all of their four baby wombats back to the home space first will be the winner. Thank you very much for watching.